Hey guys! So we just reviewed the four different parts of an opinion paragraph. The introduction, the opinion statement and reason, and the conclusion. Now let's actually work together to write our opinion paragraph. So you selected what you think is the most compelling reason to keep the nest up. I want you to remember that because you are going to be inserting that reason into our paragraph. I'm going to help you write the other parts. So our introduction, the first part of our paragraph, introduces the reader to our topic and tells them what we're going to be writing about. So I want to ask myself, what is the problem that we're going to be writing about? Well, the problem is that people wonder what to do about pale male's nest. And there are two opinions. The opinions are to leave the nest up or to take the nest down. So I want to express that in my introduction. So for my introduction, I'm going to say people have different opinions about what to do with pale male's nest. And then I'm going to add a second sentence to explain what those two opinions are. I'm going to say, should people leave it up or take it down? And that's a question, so I'm going to add a question mark. My introduction is, people have different opinions about what to do with pale male's nest. Should people leave it up or take it down? All right. That's a great introduction. I introduced the topic. I let the uh, reader know what we're going to be writing about. Now I'm going to move to my opinion statement. This is very important. The opinion statement is where you tell how you, you feel about the topic, what your opinion is. So you remember when we were learning about um, opinion and fact and opinion a couple weeks ago and I taught you about key words like I think and I feel, I believe? Well, this is where you're going to want to use those key words to express your opinion. So I'm going to say, I think, and then I have to tell what I think about the topic, what my opinion is. And as we said, we're writing the opinion that the nest should stay up. So I'm going to say, I think people should leave the nest up. There's my opinion statement. I think people should leave the nest up. But as we know, in good writing, it's not enough just to give your opinion. You have to support it with a reason. So I'm going to put that conjunction because I think people should leave the nest up because this is where you're going to put your compelling reason to leave the nest up. The reason that you selected two slides ago. I am just going to draw a line here, a blank. But we remember that is where you are inserting your reason. So I think people should leave the nest up because. That's where you're going to type the reason on the next slide. And finally, we have the conclusion. The conclusion just reminds the reader of your opinion. It's just a, a different way to express your opinion. So if my opinion is I think people should leave the nest up, I could make my conclusion something like, leave the nest up for all to see. And I'm going to put an exclamation mark there at the end of that sentence because I want to show a strong feeling. So like I said, we're sharing the pen here. I've written the introduction, the opinion statement, and the conclusion. You are going to be adding in your reason that pale male's nest should stay up. And the reason that we shared the writing today is because tomorrow, or I'm sorry, next week, you are going to be writing an opinion paragraph all on your own. So we want to do a little practice together today. You guys did an awesome job with this, and I can't wait to see what you consider to be the most compelling reason that people should leave the nest up.